Hello, oh, and welcome to Accredit Talk, where I give you a bite-sized nugget about an accreditation standard that just might apply to your healthcare organization. My name is Tom Goddard, and I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Integral Healthcare Solutions, your destination for all your healthcare accreditation consulting needs. The accreditation standard I'll cover today is from URAC's Mail Service Pharmacy and Specialty Pharmacy Accreditation Programs version 4.0. And the standard I'll be covering in this video is OPIN 2-1, which is about written business agreements. I have said for years that this agreement, which corresponds to the old core and Farm Corps 11 standard, is the easiest standard to meet, which doesn't mean you can just roll off a log and meet it. I mean, you have to first understand what it is. What do we mean by written business agreements and who is a client? Well, clients are whoever pay your organization, organizations that pay your organization uh, for what you do. So if you're a specialty pharmacy or a mail service pharmacy, whoever is paying you to be a specialty pharmacy or to be a mail service pharmacy, whether it's a health plan or a PBM, or maybe you are part of a larger healthcare system and that's your only client, that's who a client is. And so what URAC requires for this standard is that you submit contract uh, template or actual sample contracts from your client base. This is not, and this is really the only major thing you need to be able to distinguish here. This is not about business associate agreements. It's not about your vendors. It's upstream, not downstream. It has nothing to do with your vendors, has nothing to do with HIPAA. So who is your client? Well, if you have PBMs, it's your PBMs. If you have uh, a, 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 a health plan or, or a group of health plans, it's those folks. Or if you're a pharmacy located within a healthcare system, it's actually the healthcare system. Now, the first two are kind of easy to deal with. You just have to submit templates from two or three sample clients. The only trick to this, once you've decided that this is not business associate agreements with vendors and in fact about clients, the only trick to this is if you are a pharmacy located within a hospital or a, a, a healthcare system. And if that's the case, what you want to do is submit some sort of documentation saying that, because you probably don't have a contract with your hospital or healthcare system that actually owns you. So uh, an attestation, on, a signed attestation on letterhead that describes that relationship should suffice, in case, unless your reviewer is too new to understand that relationship. But that's an easy problem to overcome. So anyway, so that's, that's the key thing. Just your sample client contracts or your template co client contracts uh, is really all you need to submit for this. So that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me on a credit talk. For my full interpretive guide uh, on this standard, uh, click the link below the video on YouTube. And if you want to talk to me personally about how Integral Healthcare Solutions might help your organization get or stay accredited, click the scheduling link to do that uh, also below this uh, video. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.